Let's come to the theme of the webinar and I'm very happy that one of the UBS alum, Mr. Vanit Chaudhary is also connected and he will also speak about his experiences. So the theme of the webinar is about the BBA, is that better? The BB or MBA, is that better? Is there an advantage there? And most importantly, you're giving your more than 90 minutes, right? Why should you be listening to this presentation, right? What is there for you? Is there any value for you listening to this presentation? So trust me, I think as aspirants, you are looking for taking a wise decision, a very important decision in terms of your career. And I personally believe when I was given this session that I'm interacting with the positive minds. I'm interacting with the leaders of tomorrow. All they need is a direction. And all I'm trying to do is be a compass for you for this particular session. Now, even before we have a deep dive into whether BBA is a better program or one should go for BBA plus MBA, let us go back in the past. I recall, and I'm sure you can also connect to this, why BBA and MBA? You know, we have been always coming across that whenever you wanted to talk about your career options, it has always been the case if you talk to your relatives or in your circle of influence, your acquaintances, your family, relatives, the first thing that would come to mind and they would suggest or advise is why don't you think of becoming a doctor or an engineer now those are the traditional career options i'm sure you would agree to but remember now the world is changing it's changing fast and so i would say that there is a tectonic shift in career aspirations earlier maybe we had very limited options either you target becoming a medical professional or an engineer in any stream but now there are many more options. Even, let me share this with you in a not shy way, even few doctors have been my students. What does it mean? Is that even the medical practitioner or engineers are now working for business organizations and not just the institutions. I have come across few medical practitioners who have completed their degree. They came to UBS just because they wanted to set up their own hospital, their own institution. They wanted to expand and they wanted to have a new business model. They never wanted to work for any hospital, but they wanted to create more job opportunities. So I'm not saying that being a doctor or an engineer is not a good idea. All I'm trying to say is that the world is demanding for new skills altogether. There is a growing need for universal skills for a leader. So when I say that, I'm also 100% sure that there is a lot of confusion when I say who is the leader. So all I would do is give you just one minute. And now I expect all of you to reply. So there are 60 participants out here, right? Or maybe 55 plus. I expect each one of you to reply yes or no. If you believe that, yes, you are a leader, write yes. If you believe you're not a leader, just write a no. And I'm sure at least this, everyone can do that. This is not a quiz question. This is, this is just some clarity. This is just your belief. What is that you believe? Are you a leader or are you not a leader? You may have some perception in mind. You may have some different thought process in mind while concluding that you are a leader or you are not a leader. So I want all of you to reply. If you believe you are a leader, write yes. If no, then write a no. Wow, I can see a lot of responses, right? And at least now I would request two learners, those who have written yes, I'm a leader, to say why do they believe that they are a leader? What have they done exactly? Okay, now this is all about gaining the spotlight. I'm, I'm sure you can do it and you get one wow conference. By the way. So I want one of you to come off mute and say, why do you believe that you are a leader? Just in few words, come on, you can do it. And I'm sure you want to carry that positive impression, right? Um, I think that um, I can make a team uh, like run efficiently and uh, I'm confident enough to give them work and make, uh, oh. make them do the job. Okay, but tell me when you say you are a leader, are you, are you leading a country? Just say a yes or no. Are you leading a country? I'm not thinking that I'm leading. No, that correct. That are, are, are they are they all there on this piece? Of course, I could not get everyone out there. There are more promising leaders, of course. But are they all leaders? Do you believe they are all leaders? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but but you are not leading any country. Are you leading any sports team? I am actually. Any professional sports team? Are they the leaders? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. But 
are you leading any business no are they the leaders but one thing i appreciate remember it's not necessary to be a leader you need to run a business or you need to be a coach to a sports team or you need to lead a country we all are leaders as individuals how is your life good or bad it's completely on us as individuals right a good life is a reflection of you being a good leader and i must not say but let me say this not a good life is also a reflection of you not being a good leader right so have this belief in you that each one of us is a leader right and that is where we need to understand what is very important for the new leaders right look at the business leaders we always keep talking about elon musk we keep talking about jeff bezos we keep talking about right mr ratan tata we keep talking about mr sunda pichai we keep talking about mr dhirubhai ambani indira noi right jack ma we keep talking about these leaders are they doctors are they engineers no all they have is universal skills and that's very important and that's where i wanted to give you some insights into what it takes to become a leader what is that they do so let's have a deep dive what is very important i'm not saying that being a doctor is not good or being an engineer is not good even there right of course other than the domain you need the universal skills and it's very important so take my words whichever profession you get into there is a demand for universal skills this can be called as employability skills this can be called as life skills or critical skills so what are these skills for the 21st century leader now just 30 seconds i want you all to think about what do you think would be the next part when i say the universal skills can you give me few skills and i'm sure as promising aspiring future leaders you can definitely give me few universal skills that's there in your mind what are these universal skills just name the skills few skills so i would love that yes i'm sure you are raising your hand at least one or two uh, participants i would want them to name one or two skills they believe are universal skills and there is one wow card for that by the way dedication punctuality yeah and can i request others to put it in the chat box can i request others just 5 seconds and let's see if if you know what are these universal skills okay so definitely if you look at why should you be concerned in the first place as aspiring leaders about this universal skills i'm sure you will agree that the world is changing fast we are all in the vuca world when we say vuca it means that the world is highly volatile we have all gone through the pandemic we can see the war between russia and ukraine right and lot of dynamic changes a lot of changes in the global economy so we can say that the world the business world especially is in the vuca world which is highly volatile highly uncertain highly complex and ambiguous and to address this because every company every forum everyone is talking about the vuca world but very rarely you will find that people are not talking about how to address the vuca world what type of leaders you need all you need is a vuca leadership and that is where universal skills for the 21st century leader plays a vital role you won't believe take my words on this a free precious dose of advice whichever stream you get into whichever sector you get into whichever profession you get into whatever career you aspire for the one of the skills that tops the list is the problem solving skills whether you are a medical professional or an engineer or you are a management graduate or you are an entrepreneur right this is what is topping the skilling list that is problem solving skills other than that there are a lot of other skills that are required for the leaders of tomorrow just to name a few like strategic thinking innovation creativity analytical thinking critical thinking ability to bring data driven insights i'm sure you know a bit about data analytics right conflict management collaboration most important and global outlook a lot of foreigners have come to india a lot of expatriates right those who are leading the organization resilience emotional intelligence adaptability all this is very important and why am i talking about this skilling list there is a reason for that so please hold on have that patience what is very important see since we are talking about bba or bba plus mba remember if you aspire to be a manager 
right? And just manage a business, then you can get into any institution. Take my words, any institution which provides BBA or an integrated program will give you the base, only the basic education, right? But it may not transform you to become a global leader, right? It may not be able to give you a holistic development and prepare you with the universal skills. And that is where your choice of institution would play a very important role. So I'll definitely get into what's there in the BBA or BBA plus MBA program. But remember, it is not just the program. It is also the institution that would make a big difference, right? And that is where you need to understand which type of an institution would give you or help you eventually transform you into be a global leader of tomorrow who will be ethical, who will be responsible, who will have a global outlook, who is innovative, who is creative and who is not only getting transformed but also can transform business and most importantly society. So it's a very important call whether you aspire to be a manager or whether you aspire to be a leader. So when I am interacting with the important stakeholders when I am interacting with or when my colleagues are interacting with young aspiring leaders like you or young minds like you of course all we try to give a message is always remember since you're not in the corporate world right always there is a big difference between the managers and the leaders of course managers are always knowing the territory they know what is to be done and leaders are always in the uncharted territories in the unknown world and that is what i was talking about the VUCA world and that is where you will find the managers will always focus to do the things right whereas the leaders will always do the things right things and what is important is a leader will have the capacity to translate the vision into reality so while making a choice of an institution you must focus is this institution going to have a holistic development is this institution going to provide me ample of opportunities to scale up to acquire to develop and sharpen universal skills which are in demand so you would all agree that a clear vision is very important for success you must ask this important question what are you trying to achieve by doing your bba so when i ask this you know to the few questions and let me share my few personal observations a few of them done their bba and they got into their family business a few got into the job thinking that they will earn some money and they will sponsor their education they don't want to take the money from the parents but remember there are few challenges with that i appreciated that gesture but remember it's a road half traveled it's not reaching your destination because it's just the foundation so what are the challenges i have personally observed that when the learners will come for the BBA and then get into a job. Even when they do good, they're hardworking, they're very committed, they're very sincere, they have a good code of conduct. But trust me, the package was compromised just because they have not completed their formal education. They were not promoted because companies would have the policy that to grow as a leader and to expand their responsibilities, they must invest in furthering their education. And most importantly, they never got into the leadership role. All I'm trying to say is that if one is looking for an overall career options and switching of sectors, then it becomes difficult only when you go for your BBA program. So what's very important to understand is that a BBA with MBA will always have an advantage. Now, what is the advantage? The direct advantage is one, you are ensuring that you have completed your formal education and then you can give it all to the career and most important, I'm sure you will agree that time is money. Because if you go for a traditional BBA plus MBA, which will take five years, whereas you can complete an integrated program in four years, all you save is one year. For example, if I have 5,000 rupees right now, and suppose if I lost it, I may go back, I may go out, I may use my skills and still make 15,000 or 50,000 rupees, right? But once time is gone, it's gone. I can never bring it back. So time is money, I'm sure you would agree. So there are ample of benefits and to name a few, the lodging and boarding and other expenses are taken care because you're spending one year less with any institution for that matter. And most important, suppose if you are getting into an integrated program and one of your friend is getting into the traditional way of doing a BBA plus MBA would take five years, you would start your job one year earlier. That means you will have one year of experience much earlier and you will be in a better stage for negotiating your salary and definitely you will be having an advantage over any other 
BBA plus MBA, which is done in a traditional manner, maybe by taking a break. But the advantage is if you do the integrated program, there are ample of benefits. Now, I'm sure you are interested to know that since I'm representing the first green business school in India, which is endorsed by 60 CEOs, let me share this that our approach has been by the industry for the industry. And I'm sure we are here not to create the managers of tomorrow. So for those who aspire to be the leaders of tomorrow, the global leaders of tomorrow, they choose for universal business school. And that is what they consider it to be the right choice. And this is the place where CEOs are made. I'm sure you're interested to know that. Now tell me, how can you expect a professor not being a marketeer to teach marketing? A professor who has never done any recruitment, any training, have not got into people management just by reading books, can do or teach human resource management. A professor who has not handled the finances, has not been a chief financial officer to teach finance. That is where the students lose their interest. So this is where Universal Business School has ensured that they've always attracted the industry talent. Who better than them can be the ones to have a greater understanding of what is that the industry demands for? What is that the industry needs? What are those important skills? And this is how they come to the class and bring more value. Because they've already gone through the grind. They have really, really participated and navigated in many such areas of the organization, including the crisis management. They have experienced, they have lived marketing, they have lived finances, they have lived HR, and that is where they can bring all their experiences and valuable insights with a lot of conviction. And they have been in the space of academics as well. So all my promising colleagues, I'm, I'm sure you would be surprised that they have all worked in senior leadership position. They have done their MBA from institutions like IAMS, ISBs, SPJ, right? And they have also taken executive education from Harvard Business School. So that is where we have attracted the talent from the industry. And that's the reason we proudly say we are by the industry for the industry. Because we know what are those skills. And that is how, that is where we have a strong connect with the industry. And we have collaborated with them. And we have been giving the best to the industry. And they appreciate that. These are our global partners. And we believe in attracting the talent from the various parts of the globe, right? So we have a lot of partnerships. When I was getting introduced, I was feeling very proud about our partnerships. We have one partner in UK, which is Cardiff Metropolitan University, which has 150 years of academic excellence. We have a partner in Bulgaria, which is University of Economics, a European university with 100 years of tradition. We have a business school partnership with a business school in Paris, that is Insect Business School, and two partners in US. One is Lincoln University, and the other is Northeastern Illinois University, and one partner in Rome, Italy, that is Swiss School of Management. Now, this partnership ensures that we get valuable global insights from them. And that is how, with their support, with their collaboration, we are able to create a global curriculum, right? Because we keep researching for the universal skills and what is very relevant for the global economy. And that is where we come together, we collaborate, and we create something that is what the industry appreciates, not only in India, but all the employers across the globe. So this is how UBS looks like. I thought since I'm introducing my partners, the academic partners to you, I must also talk about Universal Business School. Personally, I call it as a paradise. So this is the aerial view. And that is where you have a complete peace of mind. And I'm sure you can see the waterfalls. You can see the chain of mountains. You can almost see the clouds touching the ground. This is how it looks like. So that's where we have been rated as a five-star university. And we have an excellent infrastructure and this is that very important for a positive learning atmosphere? So I'll not spend much time there. So how is an integrated BBA plus MBA at UBS so very different? What is so unique? So let me surprise you. The program is not only just designed, but also delivered and endorsed by global CEOs. So you can imagine what kind of a value do we create for our learners? So one, since we have so many partnerships, and I am talking about Cardiff here, being very specific. So it's a globally recognized degree. Once you do that, nobody is going to ask you where is Cardiff with 150 years of pedigree, right? So it is a global acceptance. So students who are studying at UBS, right? When they go with their degrees, they can go to any part of the world. The world is open for them. They become really relevant to the global economy. 
a global curriculum because all of our teaching learning models is what we have created in partnership with the best of the best academic partners across the globe who have solid accreditations we have many opportunities for our learners to really experience the cross culture to really understand right how to survive and thrive in the environment beyond the political boundaries of india and that is possible through global immersion where our learners get an opportunity to learn from the international faculty and not just that also compete right in a very dynamic environment very dynamic environment since you will be interacting with learners from every part of the world that is where global immersion helps and this is where you can study at ubs you can go to any partner university and study there of course a uh, global career is very important and it is not possible unless there is a global exchange program so you do a serious studies a serious study period at the partner university and this is where it helps you really understand the culture the multifacets of various culture and that is how you become more adaptable more flexible and you know what works do because i am 100% sure you will agree that you know what works in one country may not work because every country has a different dynamics so you learn the dynamics right and you learn the multifacets of the culture you work in a very cross cultural environment and that is where it helps you build a global career and you can look for global opportunities of course when you will be connected with so many learners at the partner university and even we do attract many learners from the other parts of the world to universal business school your network becomes your network and what i must talk about to the youngsters right who really believe in networking so this is how at universal business school through our global curriculum through our global degree through our global board through our global students global exchange programs the global immersion we try to create exceptional educational experience which is not just exceptional but it's also international that's very very important because you get the opportunity to study at many possible partner universities now to deliver this we don't follow a traditional approach of where a faculty goes to the class and then talks about all that he or she knows no here we do not believe in transactional relationship right we don't believe in being a sage on the stage we believe in a guide by the side and this is where experiential learning makes all the difference so this is the brain child of our beloved chairman mr tarun anand who created created this very unique concept of how to ensure a learning by doing approach for example if you were only to read a recipe in a recipe book all you know is you know is the recipe but you don't know or you don't have the attitude to cook it makes no sense right you may have the knowledge but if you don't put it into action and if you're not able to apply again sorry to say but it has no value and this is where experiential learning ensures that we create a very immersive atmosphere so whether it is marketing finance operations hr or let me say every module we ensure that it's not a theory based it's learning by doing and this is where we do a lot of activities since we have a positive for time so i'm not going to get into all the activities but let me share with you a very unique concept is what we have is exo learn which is one of the most innovative concept a brain child of our beloved chairman mr tarun anand this is a student driven enterprise where students are hired and let me also not shy away from saying they are also fired if they don't perform so they either have to perform or they have to perish so this is like an organization inside an organization and you won't believe the students right here get the designations and responsibility of c suite positions to name a few a chief executive officer a chief financial officer i am going to get you connected to one of the promising ubs alum who is here with us you won't believe when he was in the bba program right the seniors from the mba program were reporting to him because he was the chosen one he worked and delivered in the space of the c suite where he worked as a ceo for an organization which is called as exolearn where he generated a lot of profit and he created new business models so we have a proper organizational structure and this is how we ensure lot of opportunities are created for the learners as i said that those who perform will get into the c suite position other than this this is the interest of the learners 
for those who are interested let's say in painting we have arts club those who want to make their career in marketing we have a marketing club those who want to to do something for the community we definitely have a csr and those who want to be very creative we have a universal innovation club so this way we have more than 18 clubs but exolan is not a club it's like an organization and now without taking much time i would also love to share with you recently i have announced this leadership position and they have really done a great job so that is where they got promoted and there are a few students from the bba program okay so who should now you be thinking about do a bba program so first of course any high school graduate in any stream with 50 percent and above you can be from the stream of science commerce and arts right any aspirant who is really looking for leading and managing a business to scale up the business can look for the bb program with the integrated mba program and this will help you broaden your horizons where you will become more effective and more innovative and that is where most importantly if you aspire to have a global career then that is the place for you to be in so these are the programs that we have if you look at the bba program we do have specializations like finance and marketing and when you look for an integrated program yes you have all the important domains here finance marketing hr logistics and now most importantly the world is moving more towards analytics and also there are other specializations but the best part is you don't directly get into a specialization we do have mentor we do have a briefing done by the head of the department we have the skill development we have internships for you all this will help you take a wise decision in terms of which specialization is the best fit for you which specialization will help you achieve your career goal so i'm not going to name all that but our learners had opportunity to do their internship with all these organizations which needs no introduction and of course also got the opportunity to work for these organizations and i take immense pleasure in saying the best of the best organizations our learners are working for because we have been able to create develop and sharpen those universal skills which the global organizations demand for and we do have students from different parts of the world i did share with you that we have mous with many universities but in nutshell we have more than 28 universities as partner universities where students can go and have a global immersion program so yes there are many career options many career opportunities for anyone who wants to lead an organization or create an organization then yes bba plus mba is the right choice thank you uh, cr phone uh, ubs for having me here it is such a pleasure to uh, uh, speak my mind in in front of such lovely students and and this would not have been possible without uh, the support of you and my lovely professors such as vijay sir as well and um to start this off i would want to give you a glimpse of some of the skills that i've picked up from ups um which would be as vijay sir truly mentioned uh, my interest in music I would like to play a uh, uh, a a small song for you guys before starting. Thank you uh, for listening to that, guys. I um, the reason why I wanted to share that was to um, you know sort of reset and also give you a glimpse of what UBS has enabled me to do in the past um, not four years, the three years I was there, but also the past eight years that I've been in touch with them. Um, before really getting into this, I'll just give you a very very uh, short uh, glimpse of 
my background and you know where i come from and how i started my journey because i really truly believe that you as students will relate to that and um, you know i would be able to answer most of your questions and you know be relatable so i was born and brought up in a in in a town called jalandhar in punjab and starting se hi we were uh, you know me and my younger brother we were one of the top kids in school we we were there till 6th grade 7th grade i think and we were one of the top kids we were always getting the most amount of marks we were always participating in a lot of um, activities and um, every year we would always be in the you know that's the dream right for any uh, student in the early uh, school days you know be above the 90% bracket and that was always consistent and came 2008 um where due to some circumstances i had to move to gurgaon uh which is right next to delhi comes under ncr and that was the time when my world changed because from a small town like jalandhar punjab moving to um a mega city um it was so daunting i mean forget about the the trans the transfer from a cbse school to an international school but also um but also the fact that i had to keep up with them to i had to keep up with all the students i could see this happening in one year my grades from 90% dropped to 60% i was no longer a bright student i was just average i was i was just getting by i was just trying to drag my way through school and somehow get into get past boards i know boards is a very, very is is the big enemy for all of us so that was my plan and i still remember 12th grade when we were looking for colleges um because it was an international school most of the most of my friends were also going to international colleges uh you know i could hear all these names uk i'm going to us i'm going to canada australia you know I'll get the pr there and what not your international studying all of those things i had something else in mind i wanted the best of both worlds i wanted to stay in india because i felt that at that time we were only 17 18 and at that time i felt i did not have the authority to or 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 say the confidence to you know go out side and give myself this much of freedom so i wanted to stay in india but at the same time i wanted this international experience you know i wanted to you know get the gist of international study so i kept spamming google with all my with all my searches you know indian slash international college beautiful campus i know that's what we look for you know beautiful campus uh, lovely campus lovely environment great college and thanks to google ads uh, universal business school popped up on my screen and just by the look of it and i'm sure most of you have seen that as well it looked like a five star hotel it, it looked like a five star resort and i wasn't sure if this is a college if this is a university or not clicked on it and that was one click that i have been thankful to for my entire life because i experienced some of the most beautiful insights of a college of any college any college uh, you know that any college can offer to a student i i shared this with my parents and to be very honest with you guys they were a little hesitant because i think at that time ubs had just started and not a lot of people knew about ubs and um, you know my parents preferred um or told me to go for some of the known names um but i insisted because i got such a good vibe from this uh, campus and i saw all the videos and how my life was going to be i could all, already picture my life here so um i'm glad i i took my stance and i i kept at it and somehow um managed to convince my parents that you know please this is the place for me i really want to go here comes to the day 2014 uh, in the month of august uh, it's raining it's beautiful i'm entering the karjat uh, uh, town you know there's hills around me the waterfalls i can already see i can already smell the water uh, and the sand ka jo smell hota hai you know it's 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 beautiful the nature everything was just beautiful all my doubts all my parents doubts were gone in a second the second we entered the campus this beautiful campus that opened our gates towards a bright future and we we saw this majestic building and we were welcomed with such uh, respect and it was it, it was beautiful my my parents were not worried anymore and 
about an hour later my parents left the campus to go back to delhi and that's when i felt like a free bird there and that's when my journey began from the tiniest of things that ubs has to offer or at least you know the uh, ubs offered to me from giving you the freedom to do whatever you want from from giving you the freedom to learn whatever you want to offering you the most exciting things to learn it did so much for me ever since then it 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 kept on pushing me to reach my limits to to learn more and i will not take a lot of time but uh, you know uh, focus on the three main things that ubs taught me one was teaching now you guys must be wondering how can i mean i was a student so how did ubs teach me how to teach right ubs was the first time that i successfully taught myself something the environment is as such the 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 atmosphere is as such the surroundings are as such that it ends up teaching you so much and it it enables you to teach yourself so i ended up uh teaching myself how to play this little instrument that i just played for you and it was not a part of a course it was nothing it was just pure encouragement from all the lovely professors uh and 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 the team that you know you as a student have to be an all-rounder you should be an all-rounder studies are not necessarily the only thing that you should focus on and because the surroundings were so so helping um i i could not help but pick up an instrument um and music that is just the tip of the iceberg um you know i started i started getting into meditation as well i remember we used to have so many meditation sessions sunday when most of the students used to go to bombay pune or their hometowns for the weekend some of us used to stay back and uh we used to have a daily sunday meditation meditation session sometimes yoga as well and it was beautiful it was so refreshing one more thing that ubs taught me was and i'm go- i'm sure if you guys end up there you will uh, learn uh, as well would be uh, was uh, dressing if you are at ubs you have to you you end up learning how to dress like uh, our dear professor vijay tandon who's dressed so apt uh, right now and it's just it's just the corporate culture there you know because to be honest i did not even feel like i was in a college i did not feel like i was in college i i it felt like i was in this huge corporate campus with uh, you know a bunch of 18 to 25 to 30 year olds who are just they're learning together and also working and working on themselves so that was a beautiful takeaway for me from this um, from this college the second thing was hunger now this is this is not food uh, this is not even hunger for success because most of us tend to go that way this was hunger for progress for learning and and keep working on yourself and as um, uh, tandon sir mentioned um, experiential learning corporation or the company that we managed to build up um, elc i still remember uh, we were in the boardroom uh, when we were discussing how um, um, how we need to uh, you know do something about this club that we've made you know a business club we need to do something in it that represents you know business activities and um tarun sir who is also the chairman of the college came up with the idea why not make a company this of a company is 1 lakh so all the students uh, combined 50 100 students uh, you know put in 50000 of their own money so say 500 or 1000 rupees per student and 50000 was put by the management and we created a private limited company and um from there the journey began because the next question was now how do we earn money in this company and that was the that was the first challenge and that was our first experience as an hands on business and guess what we did because we did not we were just students right we were just students uh, that were part of a student led enterprise so we started noticing what was needed in the college all the college offered everything but you know dil always kya bolte hain usko dil mange more right that's that's the that's that's what all the indian customers always want despite of uh, this beautiful um, laundry facility by a college most of the students including me were so lazy we did not want to wash our clothes 
we were we did not want to wash our clothes we did not want to take them out and then iron them and then it was just a mess so then we 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 took note of that and we uh contacted a bai uh, in the gaon right outside the college and we asked her how much do you uh, how much do you charge per clock she said 7 rupees we got that service in ubs and charged students 10 rupees now you you're looking at this we're already we already as students in the first 3 months of elc covered demand awareness we all already covered costing and we all already covered supply chain management because uh, me and my partner in the laundry service were also delivering clothes on on the activa uh, which was a, a beautiful uh, rather funny experience for us but it was much needed and things like these always kept pushing me to learn more and more about costing about all these other business activities that were needed um you know to to run an actual business and apart from the laundry we started things like movie nights students want to watch movies so we just opened um a, a room at night and charged them for watching a movie we created revenue from there uh, these guys want got hungry the mess closed at 10 o'clock at night these guys got you know, like all the other students got hungry at 12 o'clock all of them wanted their maggi we started elc dawar and we started giving them food at night started making them ourselves and make giving them food so things like that really encouraged us to uh, you know think like businessmen think like ceos of how to push revenue and uh, and you know make a company successful and all of these things i think most of the things were more or less covered by vijay sir about how what all ubs uh, has done for me um, and and uh, you know the fact that it it gave me the opportunity to lead a company it gave me an opportunity to be the first bba student ever to represent india and ubs at an international level where i was uh, awarded with an all expenses paid trip to cardiff met most importantly ubs gifted me this moment this moment that we're in what am i doing i am talking to 68 lovely students and uh team members and this was something that was completely out of my forte i could not do this i could not even express my feelings to one single person when i was in school i was a very shy kid i had a lot of thoughts and i would like to say a lot of creative thoughts in my mind but i could not express them when we came to ubs because ubs has this culture that if you name it you do it you have if you name an activity you will take charge of it and you will be responsible for it so it encourages you to take control it encourages you to take leadership um roles and push that so i started to work on my communication skills i started to speak out my mind in front of one person and then five and then a room of 10 people 20 and it the list went on and before i knew i was saying yes to a ted talk without any hesitation and things like these you always end up thanking for uh, towards the end of your education life when you when you start real life and you start to work and you realize that how important these things are and then the little things that um, uh, ubs always focused on you know be it the soft skills and what not always come in handy in fact they are the most prominent and um, in the interest of time i'm going to keep it short and uh, once again thank you so much uh, cr for having me ubs and uh, professor uh, vijay tandan it was so nice to see you again and um, we'll always be thankful to ubs for what they've given me thank thank you vinay and i think that was quite an engaging session i could see students you know kind of raising their hands while you were speaking putting messages in the chat box so could see the message that you have transferred to the student that was quite quite engaging now uh, looking at the time in hand i would leave the forum open for both of you to focus now on q and a i see that there are a lot of questions which are there in our q and a tab while uh, vani from ubs is helping us answer those questions parallelly uh, i would quickly love uh, vijay sir and vani to kindly uh, you know go one by one and answer the questions which students have in q and a tab now uh sure sure we will write so uh there is one question from the learner that can we do mba after engineering the answer to that is a big yes and always remember you know whatever you have done is not going to 
go for a waste of course that is where you know your mentor will play a very important role when you come to universal business school so yes you can come from any stream uh, that is the answer and a quick one i am taking another one is there is a question that is it mandatory to have an experience after the bb and then come to the mba uh, no like we did mention throughout the presentation that uh, bba plus mba you complete your journey at one go okay and that is where of course you will have internship opportunities to work for a company that is how it is embedded in the program that is how the program has been constituted so you will definitely get some experience but it is not compulsory to bring in some work experience to go for your bba or mba program i would request one to take one or two questions one if you would like to take one or two questions from here uh, all right um so i can uh, i can see uh, uh, um abhishek are uh, my questions uh, what difference does it make if we don't pass from a prestigious prestigious college in mba um so i think i think i i i would love to answer this question because um this was not ubs was not one of the very known names as compared to some of the biggest names in in the country when i joined in and it did me good like it was the best experience of my life and i always always tell students who reach out to me that you can be the best learner the best student at any college um, even if it is not uh, the biggest name and you can always and you can also fail at harvard you know it really the you, universities are all the same uh, apart from some of the extra benefits and one has to offer but it is really on the student um, you know and the will of the student as to how much he or she is willing to learn and i think there was a second part of the question uh, was okay so that's in answer okay uh which is is it wh why people say that engineering is better than mba uh it's pretty interesting because um if you really think about it bba and engineering uh it is very uh subjective as to which one is more difficult because if you put an engineering student uh you know and put him in charge of marketing um uh, and branding and social media and uh, take in take a, a bba student and tell him to you know get technical with the machines and you know run a company like that more or less most of them both of them will not get the best out of them so it is not really about what's what's better or not uh, it it's really about what you what's more relatable to what you want to do in life if you want to be an engineer if you want to get into manufacturing now for example i am in manufacturing right now and i did bba but i did not do an engineering degree all i'm doing is you know certain small small bought out courses to just to get an idea but i think in general when you're learning um, a particular course even in school the school doesn't teach you how to be successful in life the school teaches you how to learn and then the college then gives you that uh, kick so it really it really depends on what you want to do uh, as these are very different fields uh i'll take a quick one uh, is that okay richard Sure, sir. We have five more minutes in hand. Okay. So, does an Indian MBA, BBA have good power abroad? Of course, yes. I did share during my presentation that we have lots of global partners, right? We do have partnership with more than five institutions, right? Two in USA, one in UK, Paris, and in Bulgaria. What we ensure through that is a global immersion, a global curriculum, of course, delivered by global faculty. So. definitely yes if you are very serious about a global career and since these are global degrees which are globally accepted uh, definitely yes and maybe on uh, youtube or on google you can just uh, you know uh, type in few words how to make a global career from an indian uh, business school that is where i had done a very detailed uh, chat on a webinar with one of my promising students banu pratap who is in paris right now working for avpa so he had enrolled for one of the global programs which was the pgdm it was called as a global management program pgdm plus swiss school of management plus his study period six month study period at insic business school with six months of internship in paris and that is where he has become a global manager a global product so definitely yes you can do your degree from universal business school which is a global degree which has a global acceptance 
Um, there's one, if I were to find myself in a situation where I want to switch careers, can going for this course help? Um, I think absolutely. If you've, uh, if, if one has made up their mind that uh, one has to switch careers, uh, this was one thing that I noticed and a big advantage of being in UBS that BB and MBAs uh, students, most, some of their classes are actually together. So what I noticed as a BBA student was that even at an MBA level, most of the things were brushed out from the basic level. And, you know, professors always ensured that there is always a basic understanding of, of some of the levels that we were supposed to uh, already cover in our undergraduate. So that way, professors are so helpful here. And even with students who need extra help, um, you know, they were always uh, open to help. Um, but in, in that sense, I think, I think an MBA usually uh, covers the basic formation. Obviously, not in much detail, but it definitely covers it and then uh, takes you on from there. Absolutely. Uh, I think we have a very interesting question, Vani. If we are doing BBA and MBA integrated course, if we lose interest in between, we can't leave the course. We have to do for four odd years. Uh, let me start taking that. In the very first place, trust me, you will not lose interest. In fact, you will gain more interest. Like I told you, the way we deliver the course, right? It has been designed, delivered by the global CEOs. And I did share with you, we believe in experiential learning, learning by doing approach, right? So you would never be disinterested. In fact, once you will come for the BBA program, even if you've not enrolled for the integrated program, what I've personally observed and experienced is that the students to further their education and have a better learning curve have actually switched from just a BBA program to an integrated BBA plus MBA program because they've seen value. And this is what I've been talking about at UBS. You know, the only purpose of our existence is transforming lives. We are all passionate about it, right? And that is where I would say you would never get disinterested. There is no scope, no reason. Uh, all, all I have personally seen is that students have switched from purely BBA program to integrated BBA plus MBA program. 